What's up? This is JT Chronicles and HighnessNews.com. You know what? I have, this is like old school. You, you see these guys over here? Did you can get a look at them? All right here. This, this is the old school corner right here. It's the best people going on right now. Great fight. If this fight brought people out like this, this is all sad. This is like our temptations of hyenas right now. We got a little bit of everything right now. These guys control all four points of the cape. What's up? What brought you up the house tonight? Pardon me? What brought you up the house tonight? The fight. Of course. BMW. Oh, uh, my friends. I had to bring some friends out there. Uh, they needed a ride, so I'm just a designated driver. Very good, very good. What do you think of the fight tonight, sir? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a great fight. Uh, you just got to watch what happens and, and see what goes down. Okay. Um, and this last guy over here, I used to owe him money. I don't think I owe him. So he'll probably talk to me right now. How you doing tonight? You look good. Oh, yeah, man. I'm supposed to be looking good, but the fight looking better. You know what I'm saying? And let's work it. Is it true that you were Golden Gloves in 1973? No, 1959. Okay. Yeah. This is, this is very motion. We're like going to move. And then they got one more guy over here, uh, Paul. Gonzalez is about to whoop somebody up. All kind of witness protection they didn't see in the back of me, so he didn't want to show his face right now. What? I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. What, what, brought, you, what brought you off the house? It can't just be the fight. Is that it? Or because your friends are here? Because my friends are here. It's good. I like seeing everybody here. Oh, and oh, even in the deep background, I heard you were a boxer back in the day. Oh, yeah, I boxed all right. I used to work in a, a paper company. <laughs> Bobble. Our next fight is scheduled for eight rounds in the light heavyweight position. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left. He comes to us scoring a record of 19 wins against 19 losses, 12 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he came to us all the way from Agua Prieta, Sonora, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose. He hails from nearby Harwich, Massachusetts.
your winner via shutout unanimous decision from Harwich, Massachusetts. Mr. Gonzalez, right here. You just, saw, you just saw your son have a beautiful fight. How do? How, what do you think? Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, Paul told me that you used to do some serious work back in the day. Yeah, uh, yeah. But Paul should have, Paul should have stopped him. Yeah. Stopped so what do you think you should have done? He should have, he should have stopped him. Earlier. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I'm sure when you get to back there to talk to him. I'm sure you're going to give him some more uh, fatherly advice. And uh, next time, Paul, we're going to put him down in the first round. Oh, yeah. Great. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, nice meeting you. And um, bless you for everything you've done. Thank you. Absolutely. JT, watch the Chronicles, HighnessNews.com. Mr. Gonzalez. Okay. Paul Gonzalez did some work tonight. Uh, how do you mean? You look good, man. You look good out there. Well, you know, I, uh, I knew he was a tough kid. Yeah. Uh, he's, he goes the distance with all, the, you know, all his opponents. And... Uh, He's got 17 wins, so he's no slouch. Right. And uh, coming in, you know, I, I thought I could break him down, get him out of there, maybe the later rounds. Mm -hmm. But man, my hands are red. You know, yeah. I, I hit him with some good right hands. I hit him with some good body shots. He wasn't going nowhere. No. I could hear him making sounds. He was hurt, sure. but uh, he, had, he had some will to stay up. Yeah. He fought for the Mexican national team. Okay. And anyone, you know, anyone knows boxing, Mexicans, get, you know, they, they're, they're just tough people. Right, right, right. They like to bring it, you know, the kid. The kid came to fight. Uh, he didn't come to lose. He didn't come to lay down. And uh, but we handled business. We won every round. Won every round easy. Uh, I'll box him. Was hoping to stop him. Couldn't do it. Uh, next time. Okay. Yeah. I met. Uh, I talked to your dad, and uh, he said he's going to talk to you later. I'm just letting you know. Well, my dad. You know, my, my dad wanted me to go after the guy more, but I'm in there. I, I feel the guy out. Sure. I know what I'm doing. I could feel. I, you know, I could feel the guy's energy and what he had left. Sure. And. Uh, I knew I was in for a long fight after like the third round. So yeah. I noticed that it's a, it's a lot. People on the outside are like, oh man, you should have, you should have, you should have. But when you're inside, you see a whole different page than we do. Yeah, you, everyone, you should have, you should have, you should have. And then you try it and you get, and you get hit with something. Sure. Like I said, you know, he's sneaky, he's crafty. Yep. So uh, you know, I took my time, I'll box him, get the W. Good, well, congratulations, Paul. You know, we love you, man. The fans, we support you. K Card, JT, Chronicles, Highness News.